My first online interaction with Andrew Neil was pretty combative. But when I appeared as a guest on his Sunday politics show a few years later, he was polite and fair and even gave me the last word. Ideologically, we differ over many things. But Andrew Neil is a trained journalist and editor and forensic interviewer who can, when he wants to, delve down into the truth and hold power to account. So it's a real discredit to your reputation, Andrew, and your career that you so readily welcome Nigel Farage as a host on your new station, GB News. We're going to be, unashamedly, a patriotic television station. So I'll be here every night, taking on the tough stories of the day. I did not see that coming. Talking of Nazis, one can perhaps forgive Nigel Farage's youthful support for the far right. As a teenager at Dulwich College, an English teacher tried to veto Farage's appointment to a prefect after our colleagues complained that he was openly advocating for neo-fascism and singing Hitler youth songs. It was reported by John Carlin in El Pais that he told a Jewish pupil Hitler was right. Ah, but that was a long time ago and some contemporaries said he was just joking. Of course, in the 40 years since, Farage might well have changed his tune. But has he? During the Brexit referendum, Farage centred his campaign to leave the European Union on fear of non-EU migrants, and his notorious poster, Breaking Point, bore more than a passing resemblance to Nazi propaganda from the 1930s. Coincidence? Maybe. But the head of communications at the EVU campaign has openly expressed admiration for Nazi propaganda, calling it clever the way they managed to do what they did. Farage himself was criticised by various Jewish groups for anti-Semitic dog whistles when he said that Americans should be more worried about the Jewish lobby than proven Russian interference. He has obsessed about the globalist power of Goldman Sachs and the Hungarian-born Jewish philanthropist George Soros he described as part of the biggest international collusion in history. Dog whistles. He turned up to praise Alternative for Deutschland, the AFD, a resurgent far-right party in Germany, and even got a standing ovation at their election rally. Is this really the kind of person you want representing GB News? Is this really the channel you want to be? Farage's Leave EU campaign also promoted doctored Russia Today RT footage from Egypt, suggesting Muslim men were attacking women in Europe. And as we know, Farage was often featured on RT. My mummy says you hate foreigners. No, no, Is little she? girl, no, uh, no. His campaign founders had lots of meetings with the Russian embassy in the run-up to the referendum, where they discussed potential gold and diamond deals. So is this really GB News? Steve Bannon, American Breitbart Supremo and Cambridge Analytica co-founder, was thanked by Farage for the success of his Brexit campaign. Well done, Bannon. Well done, Breitbart. You helped with this hugely. <laughs> yes, that Steve Bannon, who published White Supremacists, who said that being called a racist was a badge of honour. They'd been friends for years. Your new host, Nigel Farage, and the American who called EDL founder Tommy Robinson the backbone of Britain. With all these foreign links, is this really GB news? Now, Farage may well deny his views are far right, but many of his allies are indisputably so. He has praised, shared platforms with, and retweeted some of the major figures of the outright, including Canadian YouTuber Stefan Molyneux, an open advocate for white nationalism who propagates the idea that black people have a lower IQ, or Faith Goldie, an alt reich rebel media commentator who was fired for appearing on a neo-Nazi podcast and quoting Nazi slogans, or Jack Posobiec, one of the lead propagators of the Pizzagate conspiracy theory. So why have him hosting a prime time slot? He has never been trained as a journalist and shows no talents as an interviewer. He has never been elected as a British MP. What exactly are his qualifications to be your standard? 
And if it's his populist politics, then think again about where that leads, about what his associations say about you. Recently, you reflected on fascism and the Holocaust and stressed how your father had fought against the Nazis during the war. But how can you honor those principles and elevate Nigel Farage to the prime time slot? Nigel Farage, who reportedly once boasted his initials, NF, stood for National Front. Smuggling far-right views into the mainstream media? Is this what you want to be remembered for after a long and distinguished career? Or is this really what GB News is all about? In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't, then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.